Hi, um, class. Um, my name is Inez Garcia. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, or giving you a brief synopsis of my um, paper that um, was my final paper. Uh, my first paper that I, I did in class, one of my, um, the one right before the last one, was on aging. And from that, I uh, talked about Alzheimer's a little bit. And so I decided to, with this final uh, project and element, um, talk about Alzheimer's and the, the awfulness of it and um, the, you know, what happens when Alzheimer's um, hits the brain and um, uh, what are ways we can prevent it. I like the preventing because I didn't even realize you can prevent Alzheimer's. I thought it was just genetic, which it is. Uh, for some, uh, it is genetic, and it's unavoidable no matter what you do. But um, after doing my first paper, I started doing a little bit of research and realizing education was important, um, eating right was important, exercise. Um, a lot of the proactive things that you do now can affect your brain later. Um, and that's kind of a given, but I didn't realize it, it would uh, basically prevent you from getting Alzheimer's. Um, so um, in the United States, every 66 seconds, people develop um, Alzheimer's symptoms, and that's kind of scary. Um, it is uh, more prevalent for people who um, do not get an education. Um, people who get their masters and PhDs, they seem to do a little bit better because their minds are kind of always going, uh, reading books on a continual basis and um, exercise is a, was a huge deal as well with my research, um, there was a gerontology uh, um, place in Japan, uh, I think it was Achi is what it was called, and um, they uh, did um, and are still doing um, a program basically for people who are showing signs of Alzheimer's, like the beginning parts of it. and. They are having people do special exercises, and while they're doing these exercises, they give them brain activities to do, like counting by threes, counting by sevens, making their minds um, uh, work while exercising. This re helps build new neurons, um, and the more neurons that you um, build um, and are better... Um, able to get those synapses working um, because when Alzheimer's hits a person um, basically those synapses kind of quit working and um, a plaque starts building up and these little pieces of um, plaque kill the little um, synapses that are connected to the neuron, thinking about the neuron like being on top. And then once these parts of the neuron are dead, um, the inside starts to collect another, um, another, another type of basically uh, plaque. And inside that uh, kills the, the, the main neuron and then that neuron never comes back. So once you have neurons that die, those can't be replaced at all. But what you can do is build new new, new neurons. Um, one of the, the best studies I saw was on nuns. Uh, it was called the nun um, experiment. And they took a set of nuns who um, had education and continued on their education. And um, after they died, they were able to dissect, basically not dissect, but evaluate their brains and all of them showed signs of Alzheimer's uh, but they did not have Alzheimer's while they were living because 
of the continued education that these nuns uh, were, were doing on a daily basis and getting their minds going. They built new ones that were able to replace the old ones that were that had the Alzheimer's um, the Alzheimer's disease. So I hope this explains um, what uh, my last project was on and good luck with uh, yours. <laughs>